What's up guys, it's Joshua C here and look what I've got here, it's the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo and do you remember, like, I think by the time you're watching this video is 3 weeks before we did a giveaway for the Lenovo Phone Legion Phone Duo and yep, today I got the unit here and I'm gonna unbox it and show you guys what's so awesome about this gaming phone Now, from the outlaw of the box, it's pretty simple box design with the reflective Legion branding engraved on it to make it look classy but that's not just it because the tagline for the Lenovo Legion Phone duo is stylish on the outside savage in the inside so once you open it up you hear a sound effect you have an opening gaming sound effect which really adds up to the whole unboxing experience of it. The sound effect was sounded from the bottom left of the box which you can see the speaker grills there. So the whole box design really feels premium and expensive. So once you open up the box, you get the usual simping tool, menus, documents, the unique design silicone back cover which doesn't tell you up or down and also a USB-C to 3.5mm audio jack converter and the interesting the basic part of it is, there will be two USB-C charging cables, one USB 2.0 and one USB 3.1 and not just two charging cables provided but also having a 65 watt charging brick that comes with two output ports for your charging cables to charge your phone simultaneously with the 65 watt of highest output. The whole charging dock is also shadowing the Legion Phone Duo's design on it so it's pretty unique for a smartphone charging brick I would say. Okay so the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo has two color variants. One is the blazing blue and the vengeance red and the one that we got here obviously is the vengeance red as you can see on the back it has this futuristic x-axis design team with the legion branding on the top center part and the rgb legion logo below it based on the reflective reddish black back cover on the side it has this texture materials with the stylish outside savage inside slogan imprinted on it this design is to allow gamers to have a better grip on the side and won't be slipping your hands off while gaming on this phone and when you turn on the phone the legion branding will light up in red and also the rgb logo will light up in red as the default color. Speaking of which, you can customize the RGB lighting color to blue, yellow, green, purple and a few more different colors not just during your game but also for different notifications like incoming calls and charging indicator. You can also set the motion effect for it such as a breath, flash, wave and always on. As for the IOs, it has the power button, the volume rocker and two USB-C charging port on the bottom and on the center and also the two ultra Sonic game key and you must be asking this is a gaming phone how come there's no dedicated game launcher keys well there is all you need to do is just to tap and hold the two ultrasonic game keys and you'll be in the legion realm in no time other than that the dual ultrasonic keys allows you to tune the tap vibration mode as well as the tap press level with the dual x-axis linear motors it will fine-tune the vibration according to the game so you really feel like playing it on a console controller as well as has the 3D motion sensor that allows you to tilt your phone to adjust to your desired angle on your game especially for headshots. As for the performance wise, the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo has the Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset with a up to 16GB of RAM and also up to 512GB of storage. So in terms of the tech spec, I think Lenovo really give a top notch specs for a gaming phone. And the best selling point here is the whole build system of the phone as Lenovo plays the processors in the center part of the phone while the battery is on site. According to the officials, this is to reduce the heat felt on your palms while you're holding your phone. Combining with the dual liquid cooling system, the cooling system actually did a pretty good job as I didn't really felt the heat after hours of gaming. And you can really see the real-time temperature while you're gaming on your control deck as well. Turning it to the front, you have a 6.65 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with up to 144Hz refresh rate and 240Hz of response rate. As the bezels are quite thin here, with some curved edging design, the whole display feels neat and smooth with the high refresh rate while you'll be able to choose between 60, 90, 120 to 144 hertz of refresh rate and if you feel like saving your battery usage and tune to the lowest refresh rate which is a 60 hertz for your normal usage, you can set the 144 hertz to auto turn on during your game. And speaking of which, it has this dual stereo front facing speakers on the front here above the screen and also on the bottom of the screen and I really need to give a thumbs up to the speakers because it sounded really really good yeah, and 
if you notice there's one more thing which is the front selfie camera there isn't any knot or dot for the front facing camera so where's the selfie camera hidden well this is the interesting part of it so the phone comes with a dual rear camera setup a 64 megapixel f1.8 main camera a 16 megapixel 120 degrees ultra wide angle camera and on the front like what i mentioned just now it is a 20 megapixel horizontal pop-up selfie camera yes this is the biggest feature for the lenovo legion phone duo which is the horizontal 20 megapixel front pop-up facing camera and this is not just some pop-up camera but this camera comes with a four noise cancelling mic as well so i think you already know where this leads to right well the main purpose for the horizontal pop-up camera is for streamers to conveniently stream your game with just your phone without having to set up extra devices for it okay so now let me test out how the streaming works and how the experience of gaming and streaming at the same time okay tap and hold to go in the legion realm ah, okay let's go to pubg so just now i did play it halfway so just go into it so once you go into your game you just put down your control panel and then you can see the quality of your wi-fi your frame rates up to 144 but now only 30 frames per second and gpu cpu and also you just need to press stream mode and voila you're on stream and if you can see now i've turned on the opacity down so it feels like you really merge yourself into the game and if you don't want you can just put it here and also i already press the blend in button so my whole background is blending in with the game itself so if you don't want you can just click it here but to me i prefer more blending in because it would really like bother me during my game it won't have the squarish picture beside to bother me during my game and also if you want to add some uh, equipments on your stream on yourself well maybe you can add in a hat and also a sunglass so you look more cool during your stream so now after that then i can go start my game okay matching matching so during your game you can always set up and then how you want to place where you want to place your stream so the whole 20 megapixel camera really brings a clear picture for the stream as well and you can press the ultra keys that i set here to go around and whenever you press the ultra key it just uh, vibrates the way you want because i already set the preferred vibration and then when you play it just feels like you're playing on a gaming control so the whole dreaming system even when you're playing a game even if you have a larger hand than mine you don't really like you don't even cover up your camera because the camera is on the center and your streaming camera is here so you don't really get bothered on your camera so to me this function is really really well thought of especially for the game streamers out there so the pop-up camera also comes with a free fall detection so it will automatically hide it back in when it detects any free fall now since we talk about the cameras let's take some picture samples so see how it works Now let's talk about the battery as i mentioned there's two usb-c ports which one is in the bottom and one on the center part so this is not just for your convenience for your charging if you really have to charge while you are halfway through your gaming but it also allows you to have the 90 watts turbo charging ability for you to charge from zero percent to 50 percent in just 10 minutes but please take note that the one that you're having from the box is the standard 65 watt charging adapter and if you want to go for the dual turbo charging 90 watt feature you need to purchase the 90 watt adapter separately but according to the official website in malaysia you need to have to wait for a bit to get the 90 watt uh, charging adapter available in malaysia so now let's come into the conclusion so in my opinion the whole package the whole tax pack the whole gaming feature provided on the lenovo legion phone duo it's really really a great gaming phone in my opinion but it's not just for any ordinary gaming but also especially for those game streamers out there because because you see all the horizontal selfie cameras everything and for those of you who want to start a streaming channel well really a great phone also as for the battery well although it has a smaller 5000 it's it's not a smaller but comparing to other gaming phone out there other gaming phone will provide up to 6000 milliamp but although this one has a smaller 5000 milliamp when you look into it it provides you a dual charging capability and even it can go up to the dual turbo charging 90 watt so it can charge up your phone from 0 to 50 percent 
percent in just 10 minutes so let's say you want to go for a break after hours after two to three hours of PUBG gaming and your phone left only like 15 percent of battery then you can just go to a break and leave your phone to charge for a while then after a break you can just take up your phone and continue on for a few more rounds of PUBG so if you ask me about the downside the only downside that I can think of on the phone is the horizontal selfie camera because it's a horizontal selfie camera and you can't really take a nice vertical selfie picture like on a normal smartphone if you really want to take a selfie on vertical angle it will really look odd because the camera is on the center and then your eyeballs will look in the center so the selfie pictures really look odd but this phone is still a gaming centric phone so I'm pretty sure most of you who want it will not really focus on selfies am I right so in my opinion if you are those who recently want to look for a gaming phone or those who wants to buy a gaming phone for streaming or start a game streaming channel well this might be the phone that you want to list it down on your buying list so i think that's all for today and let me know what's the key feature that you look for for a gaming phone and also let me know what do you think about this phone in the comments below and remember if you like this video give a thumbs up click subscribe hit the bell icon and also follow my instagram i'm joshua c i'll see you next time bye